Hello, everybody. This is a continuation of the series in which I showcase my B36 artifact collection. Tonight, we have my two prized possessions. Well, three if you count the horn button. But let's start off with the yoke. This is a late model B36 yoke. The early models had the crescent shapes that you'd see in much earlier planes, such as the B-17, the B-29. This yoke is made out of cast magnesium. As you can see, it's about 16 inches in diameter. It's about six inches tall overall. Go ahead and remove the horn button. I don't have the provision mounting for it which I will eventually make. The B36 that I'm making, the scratch build, is not gonna feature this late type, but rather the early type. It doesn't weigh very much because like I said, it's made out of cast magnesium. Most complex parts found in the B36 airframe are made from cast magnesium. Magnesium is extremely flammable. It's extremely expensive to produce things made out of magnesium. Just explore the artifact here. It's not every day you get to see one of these in the flesh, if at all. There's the B36 part number. It starts with 36. It's covered with a hard rubber material, which you can see it's flaking off over time. It goes without saying that's the button for enabling or disabling the autopilot. These missing buttons, these were for the intercom. Pilot could push here and talk on his intercom. Once again, this is a late model yoke. So on to the next piece. This is a horn button. It's unofficially called a horn button. I don't know what the, uh, the nomenclature is in the parts manual. Get rid of my piece of tape. Consolidated Volte Aircraft Corporation. This is a vintage specimen. Reproductions stick out like a sore thumb. The one thing that's lacking is the part number, which actually instead of 36 would be 32 because the B36 used the same horn buttons that the B32 used. So it kept the same part number as did several parts from the B36 or the B32. It also used PBY Catalina parts. about three inches in diameter. And on to the last part. This is a genuine B36 data plate or identification plate. It is from aircraft 522226. That is a six. That's the sequence number. It was the 367th airplane built. This is a very special airplane and a very special data plate. Number one, because they're rarer than hen's teeth. Number two, because this is actually the last B-36 that was produced with full hemispheric defensive gun turrets. The next serial number was the featherweights or the factory featherweights that did not have any turrets. So this data plate represents the last United States built bomber with full hemispheric turret protection. You go through the lineage of all the bombers, the B-17, the B-24, the B-29, and all the ones that I failed to mention, this is the last bomber that was built with all the turrets. Giving you an idea of value, I paid well over $600 for this about, I'd say, 12, 13 years ago. 
came out of California, as do most of my B36 artifacts. I've been collecting B36 artifacts for 20 years, if not longer. Every morning I'd wake up and get on eBay and type in B36 and see what I could find. Now this one here isn't uh, isn't vintage. It's a it's a reproduction that I've made, but it's just to illustrate the difference in data plates you'd find in the B36. This being the later model, this being the earlier model. You'd find this one in the A through F models, and this one was in the H and J models. That's to the best of my knowledge, based on pictures. And once again, this is a, a reproduction that I've made. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more B36 artifacts in the future. I haven't even scratched the paint. Be sure to check out my, my channel. I'm building a full-scale B36H from scratch using as many vintage B36 parts, a lot of which are actually stamped from the Consolidated Vaulty Fort Worth factory and were in actual B36s. See you next time.